Well, good morning. Hey guys, welcome to Wake Up and Airbrush. My name is Dorothy. I know you are expecting to see Heather and Heather usually is here Monday through Thursdays to do the live demos. However, Heather is not sick this time, but the girl's on vacation. She's doing a Disney cruise. So yay for you, Heather. Enjoy your Christmas week vacation on your Disney cruise. No worries. We will talk. Wake up and airbrush here and then be glad to see you when you get back. So if you are here, you're missing Heather. She's on vacay on a Disney cruise. And I'm just going to kind of do some demos with you this week. Who's ready for Christmas? Comment, let me know where you're at, where you're from, and let me know what that is looking like for you Christmas week, guys. One more week for Christmas. And I've got some non airbrushy type stocking stuffers that we're going to go over today. How many of you have checked out? The airbrushing. I know that Heather did a quick demo on that, and we're going to do it again today. These are great stocking stuffers. So maybe you've got a friend, or maybe you want something to add to your arsenal. Hello, David Johnson. Um, maybe you want to add something to your arsenal that maybe isn't airbrushing, so, or you're not feeling the airbrushing. I'm going to show you a quick five minute makeup that does not require airbrushing from our traditional sense. Now, don't get me wrong, we love the breeze, we love the airbrush look, but I have tested this out, and this right here gives the airbrush look, and it is so quick and easy. So, here's what we're gonna do. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, good morning. Um, Heather's on vacation. Gosh, she's on a Disney cruise. Who wants to go on a Disney cruise for Christmas? me um so everybody say um send love out to heather on her vacay but we're going to talk about this new airbrush makeup in a can so when you don't want to airbrush with your breeze you airbrush with your yeah okay so let's talk we're going to go super fast and and the reason we're going to go fast I'll answer questions if you guys have any, post them. I'll be more than happy to answer them, but I want to show you how easy and quick this is. And I'm only going to use like two or three products. So I'm going to use a foundation and the cut palette. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to do a whole look. I'll show you a couple different things though. Let's get started. Okay, so this right here is the brush that comes in with our foundation duo okay i love this brush it is great and the first thing in our foundation is the primer okay guys primer is super important i know most people don't talk about primer a lot but skincare and primer really do set the palette to make your skin look flawless so if you haven't hydrated, this morning I did a skincare demo on the Luminous Live page. So make sure that you check out Luminous Live. I'm there Monday through Friday till 5 p.m. And I did a skin demo using our contour. So my skin's prepped, it's clean, it's prepped, it's moisturized. But this is the primer. And this is the end. You use it on the short end. Okay, so there is a technique to spraying this, guys. Do not spray it on your face. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> and don't spray it. You know, we do the four finger lifts away. Don't do that. I want you to come in very tight to it and barely pull back. So when I say barely pull back, you know how we have to be light on the trigger with our airbrush machine? Same thing. There is power in this little thing. The first time I sprayed it, I was like, ooh, all that stuff's coming out. And I would rather do sprays a couple of extra time and be able to control what's coming out and be able to control where it goes on the brush than waste it or have a lot of overspray. So there you go. That is the primer. And it is smooth and it covers in the wrinkles and the crinkles and really helps it go on flawless. Okay, primer's done. You see how quick that was? Super quick. Okay, same thing with the foundation. 
got to shake it up. And remember, we don't need a lot. Here's my brush. You see how close I am? I'm really close. Really lightly, lightly pull on this trigger. Lightly, lightly and close to the brush. And I am just going to put it there. Look how much that was. Now watch. Look at the coverage that this gives. And that was just one little squirt. Now I am very pale, so this is a 20 because I have pretty porcelain skin and a lot of red undertone that will pop out. But look how pretty that finishes. It still looks like skin. It still gives a little bit of luminosity. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more on this side. This is going to be like when you don't want to airbrush, when you don't want to pull out the machine, maybe when you're traveling, maybe when you want something a little bit different. This right here is so easy. And the finish is beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Foundation is done. Foundation is done. So, so easy. So, so easy. So, dual end brush. These are the best stocking stuffers. You need this in your beauty arsenal. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, now, cut palette. I am literally going to use this all over my face to give the contour, the highlight, the powder, everything. So, here's my contour. You know, I got these nice little high hairlines, right? Now, for contouring for me, I can't contour like Heather does to where she comes in deep on the cheekbone. Because if I come in deep on the cheekbone, because I already have pretty pronounced cheekbones, see, I will literally look like a skeleton. Um, I also do not contour into right here because it's a little too deep for me. And so we're going to contour there. I am going to actually hit the contour right at the top, right at the top, because that's where mine is. And then I'm going to hit it underneath here. Okay. Blend it away, blend it away. That's it. That's my cut palette. Now, Let's just say I'm going to a uh, party. Let's say I'm going to a Christmas party. This I would wear all day out. That was literally, y'all, it is 10.39. That was literally probably four minutes worth of makeup done. So you can do a makeup look and it be super fast and super easy. But So this would be a makeup look I'd wear out. I literally just sprayed on the foundation, added a little shading, added a little bit of blending. I already had mascara on. But I'm going to up it to a holiday party look. And so I am using one of our Luminaires bronze. And this is not going to be where you think I'm going to put it. I'm actually going to do it on my eye. I'm going to pat that in. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? This is one of our Luminaires. Again, stocking stuffers. We are talking all things holidays to get our stocking stuffers ready. Stocking stuffers. So an illuminator. That was my eyeshadow. Foundation, stocking stuffers. Cut palette, bronzer, blush, highlighter, all of that. And now lips. Okay. So I have on, um, I exfoliated my lips. This is my natural lip color. So I have on some chapstick just to keep it moisture. Now, the one thing I do want to kind of show you and talk about is lip liners. Okay. I'm a lip girl. So we're just doing a quick lip color thing. If we're going to up it for the holidays, if we're going to make a dramatic look for the holidays, what does that look need to look like? Right? 
So what's that a dramatic lip? Okay, so for me, a dramatic lip is either pink or what is our classic? Red, pink or red. So I want to show you how Luminesce's lip liners, there's the pink, there's the red, how they hold up to other brands. So one of these is L'Oreal and one of these is Makeup Forever. L'Oreal, Makeup Forever, okay? Luminous. So the red is L'Oreal and I'm gonna just put that on here. And the pink is Makeup Forever. Oh look, that's lovely, that just crumbled off. Oh, good job Makeup Forever. Okay, so there are my lip colors. Now I want you to watch. That's L'Oreal. Let's make it forever. They both did a smear. Okay. This is Luminesce's. I'm going to do it on the other hand. I can do that. I am so not left-handed, y'all. Luminesce's red. Luminesce's, oh. Pull that out. Pink. Now I want you to watch. Ready? Then move. Just saying. Just saying. So I love, love, love the lip liners. They um these right here are not gelled. So the L'Oreal and the Makeup Forever, they um, you have to use a you have to use them and sharpen them. These are self sharpened. I love that. Okay, so do we want to do red or do we want to do pink? What is our dramatic color for today? Red or pink? Red or pink? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, let's go Christmas. Red it is. So for me, because I have a little bit of a fuller lip, I'm not going to, so that's where Heather and I have different shapes. You do different things for that. So for me, red, yes, Veronica, I am going to actually really just do a really significant line here and a really significant line here. I do not overline my lips and it's just because I don't need to, but I'm going to leave the insides a little open and you will see why you'll be able to see why I do that as I is it kind of adjusts my lip shape just a hair illusionally not like super dramatic but illusionally so let's do that and I love how precise this is okay you see how that gives a little bit more of a plump there and this just fades away I have a pretty prominent Cupid's bow. Okay, so if you will see, that is the main thing I did was the Cupid's bow and right underneath here. And so I'm going to fill that in. And if you notice, I didn't take it all the way to the corners of my lips. And I did that on purpose. And I just blended that. Okay, so the reason I did that is because when you have a hard line, that's where you draw the, the focus of it. And so I want the focus of it to appear to be a little plumper in the middle and less in the sides. And so I wanted a less harsh red lip. In other words, this is a bright red lip, but it's less harsh than if I did it hard lined all the way around. And that's where people kind of start to get 
you know, you're like, oh, a red lip is so hard because you have to get it perfect and you have to get it even and you have to, these are perfect for a red lip because if you look how thin and precise that point is and the creaminess of it and the staying power of it, it can go on like a lipstick, but you still have the preciseness. So if you will notice, the plumpness of how my lips look, the focus is right here and not out here. When I get to getting it out here, then I start to get, um, it's a little bit more of a, a harsh look. And I, I don't necessarily like or need harsh looks. So I've got my shimmer on my eyes. I've got my foundation for my, my Christmas look. Now, the one thing I am going to do, because we didn't use any airbrushing this time, I'm going to come in with a traditional concealer and just pop that right here under my eyes because you know what? I always need a little bit of lightening and brightening under the eyes. That is for real a thing. And I don't know about you if you need that. We do have our airbrush foundations. When I use my Luminesce, we can use our illuminators underneath there, our concealers under there. But today is all about our non-airbrush airbrushing techniques and what we use out of the Luminous Cosmetics that maybe isn't our breeze and maybe isn't all of that. Look, that's my holiday look. This is what I'm gonna wear out. It's a red lip, but it's a little bit of a softer, less harsh red lip. It is my stocking stuff for foundations. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm. Here, I'm not a salesperson for makeup. I will give you a true review. If I hate it, I'm just going to probably be nice and not say anything at all. But I do love these. Um, I do love, I don't love all cosmetics, but I do love this particular um, foundation. And you can check me out at Luminous Live in our group if you want to see how this look wears throughout the day. I'm not going to touch up. I'm not going to apply foundation again. But in throughout the day, I'm going to keep showing you. You'll be able to see how this look wears and what it does. How much fun was that? Simple, fast, can be really soft and pretty, but also dramatic. So if you have any questions, please ask. I am here for you to ask that. Also, remember, we have beauty experts on the phone at this 1-800 number right here. They can help walk you through your airbrush system. They can help you with products. They can help tell you how to use your airbrush machine. They can help you problem solve issues you may be having with your airbrush machine. They will help you get the look that you want through your breeze and your airbrush system. So use this phone number. Take advantage of these beauty experts that are available to you on the phone. Also remember, Heather is going to be doing her small group class at noon central time. Now, not this week, because, of course, she's on her Disney vacay. You got to love that. But if you sign up this week, you can sign up for next week. And you can pick your spot at the beauty bar with her to learn all the things that you need to learn about your airbrushing. Oh, Amber, who are you? Okay, Amber, let me introduce myself. My name is Dorothy Strohal. I am a colleague and a friend of Heather's. I have been in the makeup artistry industry with her for over 20 years. I own a company called Your Makeup Experts, and I am working with Luminous as a beauty expert to help explain their products, to help you learn how to airbrush um, and get the most out of your airbrushing system. So I have been an airbrush celebrity makeup artist for over 20 years doing makeup for TV, production, movies, all of that fun stuff, and have decided to just kind of work with Luminous to help you guys learn how to become your own professional airbrush makeup artist. So that's who I am. You can check me out online. I would be more than happy to let you know who I am, what we do. But as far as here, I'm one of Heather's colleagues, one of her friends that's coming along as a beauty expert to really help you Luminous customers understand your airbrushing, understand how to use your airbrushing, and understand how to use the Luminous products in the airbrush system. So 
that's who I am. I am only, I'm not here replacing Heather. She's not going anywhere. She just went on a big, fabulous boat for Christmas and with her daughter. And so we wanted to make sure that you still had live demos um, and got to see some great products and some amazing stocking stuffers uh, the week before Christmas. So good morning, Lori. Good to see you. So that's it. I mean, that's all I really have for the demo because it was so easy and so fast. Um, it's one of my favorite alternatives to airbrushing with the Breeze or the Icon is using these new products that Luminous has created. I love, love, love it. I did do my makeup today and I did it online here. Lori, it literally took less than five minutes because I used the new airbrush in a can and I applied the full look with the airbrush in a can and the cut palette. It was very quick and very easy. So um, we also talked about the lip liners. These are all things that are great stocking stuffers. So I wanted to do products that could make a beautiful day look, but also go into maybe a holiday look as stocking stuffers. So like tell your boo to watch the slides to go to the links and to buy all of those things to put in your stocking because I'm telling you I I didn't know how much I was going to love these lip pencils until I use these lip pencils and I love these lip pencils so all of that is what created the look it was quick it was easy it was simple it was fast it was like seamless and so it was that so I will see you Another day doing Wake Up and Airbrush this week. Let me know what you want to see. We've got skincare that is happening and coming out. We've got new, uh, we've got the contour as a skincare that I have done a couple of demos on Luminous Live with. We've also got the skincare system. That is really awesome. And remember, great skincare and great skin prep is what gives you a great foundation and makeup look. Alrighty, I'm out of here. Looking forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow.